All new at 11 backpacks now banned in Clayton County middle and high schools. The superintendent saying this is because of a rise in crime and an increase in the number of weapons making their way into schools. Our Paula Sura joining us live from Clayton County with what the superintendent had to say about the issues. Paula. Yeah, Jennifer, you know, Superintendent Beasley released a one hour video announcing that middle and high schoolers in the district can no longer wear backpacks or use lockers through the end of the school year. Now, I spoke to a mother, a Clayton County mother. She has three children in the district, and she says that doesn't matter because safety is top priority. He understands that it's for his safety and the safety of his peers and his teachers, but um, He's a pretty easygoing kid. Boys are kind of just go with the flow. Brianna Kimbrough's oldest son, CJ, is a ninth grader at Jonesboro High School, where in late February, a student discharged a gun, according to the district. No one was hurt, and Kimbrough hopes it stays that way. It is scary, and I think during the backpack checks um, that they went through after that gun incident, CJ said, you know, I think they're finding things like every day, you know, it would be at a knife or some sort like they were con consistently finding weapons. Now CJ and her middle schooler Lathan, who are both student athletes, won't be allowed to bring backpacks or use lockers at their schools through the end of the school year. Carrying their equipment and their clothes for after school and their cleats and all of that. That does pose a challenge, but I see the need for it. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like a sustainable solution. Um, seems like it's a, it's a band-aid for a more long-term solution. They're going to carry their books to school just like I carried my books to school. If no book bags are allowed, that means they've got to carry their books in their arms. Clayton County Superintendent Dr. Morsese Beasley says the district is also working to install new metal detectors at all middle and high schools and will be performing random searches with the help of the Clayton County Police Department. Everyone attending graduation in person next month will also be forced to go through metal detectors. Life is challenging. It will be even, even more difficult when no school system will accept your child because they've been expelled for bringing a weapon, a gun into a school or on a school bus. Now, Dr. Beasley also says that they have currently openings for school resource officers and that they're looking into filling those positions.